Hey there, welcome back to Lancer Radio. This here's Wilkes Major on Ronstadt 1, Pirate Radio. We're gonna return to the riveting tales of Paradox Core and Lightning's first adventure with the is Harrison Armory Mac and all the difficulties of piloting a Kidu. But I uh, just wanted to welcome you all back and thank you for uh, understanding last week we had some issues. It's always good to know that the fans are still out there waiting for us when we get back. The following is an incomplete court excerpt pending indictment. File number 236, Summary of Transcript. Crew comms, RR, Lance 2, Day of Incident 5. Duration, 24.6 seconds. Extended for clarity. Contacts, the fun. Contacts, all sectors. Request weapons free. Negative. For escalation protocol. They just map test for surrender and open fire immediately. Engaging. Sorry, hot. Weapons free. Spark their vest. Tell range. I'm approaching to engage. Whose idea was it to show up in riot gear? Oh! <laughs> Still at lucky. Hold all the men. What the? Engaging close. Missed. I'm home. I got your back, buddy. Right behind you. Where? I don't have you on sentence. What's that? Look like orbital cannon. I surrender. Ah. Damn it. Fuck. Ross is down. Delta's just gone. Hot. Hot. Engaging. I'm scouting forward our exit. Fucking jackass. Build our scum. This concludes audio excerpt of Incident 5, File 236. On any other ship, this med bay would be an officer's cabin, one situated snack in the middle of four docks ready cabins, where the other officers slept. The spacious room, like any of the others like it, was crammed full of medical equipment backs, armor knitters, and the odd auto cert bed frame, and then crammed again with more of the same. Evelyn, Despite frequent requests, triggering a now strictly enforced minimum latency window, each time receives only the same automatic reply. Error. Rotation uninteresting. Lander 1 has no formal med bay, just an auto dock chamber in the receiving bay. The true med bay existed within Thelsio proper, more modestly equipped for sure, but run in a more organized fashion. Well, it's certainly not common enough I get to receive you, friend. What brings you in? You came back relatively unscathed, so I imagine you're experiencing something new to you. You'd like to run by me for some potential treatment? Would you say this is a fair assumption? Hey, Doc. I was hoping you could help me with a hypothetical. If someone was experiencing some altered personality while piloting their frame, would that be cause for, I don't know, concern? Just give me one second here, please. Let's make sure your case file before we proceed any further. Standard protocol for your usual. This is the audio log of Dr. Jojo. Entry 05519-A. I am about to begin a file for a potential case. A few things to note after their initial entry into my office. A slight dilation of the pupils and slight hesitation before speaking only a few seconds before seating themselves. Logic suggests some shaken nerves about their own possible affliction. Let it be known, it is my duty as one of the chief medical officers aboard this vessel to ensure the well-being and fortitude of my patients. Physical, mental, and on occasion, emotional. It's a beautiful day today, and I love it. And love. I'm asking because it seems like when I was in the pilot seat, I seemed to forget all about race and want to focus strictly on the mission. Can you like a brain scan or something to see if I might have hit my head a bit too hard during that crash? I'll be bored with you, friend. I've only heard of cases where the mech and pilot, for lack of a better term, become intertwined. However, best case scenario suggests this simply all request urges making surface. But you seek certainty. So I offer all that I have and all that I am. And if you have doubts, I care. Then let me assure you, I do. Uh, thanks, Doc. As previously stated, I've only heard of these cases. However, accessing them is rather, well, let's just say they're not the easiest files to get hold of. At least from my end. So, what's the standard procedure for dealing with this intertwinement? Do I just take it easy? Is some kind of medication? Or is this something else I have to learn to, like, live with? You are a thrill seeker, though. Perhaps, this in conjunction with its demand for pushing limits, you've tapped into that repressed urge. This is merely a theory, however. Humans, despite all our accomplishments and feats, are still prone to dark urges. For starters, have you considered another form of outlet? Lay down, and on my word, you'll need to remember that sensation you felt. Don't hold back. We need a full display of the activity going on in your brain. Now go ahead and lay down, and I'll strap you down and proceed. Alright? 
The doctor needed a full readout of Oshin's mind under maximum stress. The screaming that emerged from Oshin on the neuroscanner during this period was omitted from this record. Even though Halo was intubated in a pedite bog, a full IV metabolic exchange, and tranquilized with the best pseudopia she could scrounge on Guthrie, Alshin and Jojo had somehow been loud enough to wake her up. She gave the sublingual command to return to sleep, and got an error message from her implants. She cursed both the young men as she eavesdropped on them. She had crisped out most of her short-term memory storage with her auto bland after the client meeting, and after a few hours wired up, she was just getting the ability to follow a conversation again. Hila's entire head and torso were inside the neuroscanner in the rear corner of the infirmary. Her legs and lower torso twitched softly in time with the beeping and clicking as test impulses ran from the machine's injected pedite swarm along her nerve channels. She'd fallen asleep in the machine after hacking the test cycle to run on a loop. Hila didn't believe in paying for neuron regrowth treatment when her hack was essentially the same process as SSC Neurojuve. Plus or minus a few safety features, sleeping in the machine made dreaming impossible, of course. But that was a feature, not a bug right now. She couldn't risk dreaming without the control of an interrupt command, so she couldn't sleep analog until her auto gland and other implants were fully reintegrated. Topaz has had to remove something from her own mind after making direct contact with the client, but she had been too zealous and scourged the entire underside of her frontal lobe. She didn't even remember leaving the client. She didn't remember everything that she said or did with the client. Ella shuddered at the thought of her face of the soulless gremlin that had hired Paradox Core. Securing a meeting with the client had been easy. Alex seemed like the exact kind of wicked little creature that would work for. For whom? That had been the price. She had broken her own mind and given up that memory for the team's 5,000 mana advance. Job has had been a fugue state, taking the administrative hub to had relied a lot on blind reaction to the events around her. When she saw three of her comrades on fire from broad spectrum laser fire and the angel had offered a firing plot that erased so much danger, she had just given it free reign. All the angel had left of the East Infantry Squad were shadows scorched to the pavement. The angel offered helpfully that each individual photon in its particle stream had impacted the targets with about the force of a racket ball serve. They had evaporated into the light. She was trying not to interrupt, but she was invested in Alshin overcoming the difficulties he was struggling to control. Hela had sold him the Tokugawa license and collected a 10% commission on the sale. She didn't remember exactly when she had gotten the Harrison Sales Star Certificate on her public profile, but she remembered being happy to help Alshin after he nearly killed himself in his latest racing fiasco. The machine speaker clicked to life, sounding like an approximation of Hela. I got you a Tokugawa license, thinking you are going to use the Tokugawa license. The Inkita frame is the prototype model, you silly boy. Its core was tuned to cleanse demons and battle without honor or humanity against the unthinkable. What can it eat even bypass the safety lock on that frame? Is that your idea, Doctor? Hilla's hands fiddled with a built-in trackball connected to her display inside the machine. She was unable to navigate quickly while her implants and data plating were offline. She pulled up Ocean's license and immediately recognized the casual way he had bypassed every warning and waiver on the Inkito just to get it through the printer wall in her fugue. Oh, ask me is the idiot. Good thing I killed her. She regarded the malevolence of the Harrison demon nested in the deeper layers of the license, struggling and twisting its immolet form against its chains. She closed the license. If we're not facing a threat of overwhelming strength, the core's murderous nature is just as likely to kill one of us as one of the enemy, because it is hardwired with our recital biofeedback. Warnings, classified medical reports, images of gigantic larval caverns being laid waste by plasma arcs popped up in cascade on the outside of the scanner. Killing feels better than high grab sex when you're plunged into an enkidu. That's why I did a full reboot on your mech and took out your main hydraulics after you cockpitted their commander. I was the next closest to you and I didn't want you charging me next. She paused for his contemplation. Every time you plug your bio ports into that cockpit, there will be new channels in your mind that will make it easier for you to kill. 
In time, laughing will feel good but killing. I didn't do God knows what with the client, so you can just... Just... Look, I'm not your mother. If you insist on going mad in that death path, please set up an end ram impression of yourself now, so you can at least hurry restoration to the end of the road. Doctor, can you add more hypernol to the IV? Wakefulness is excruciating. Oh, geez, sure seems like those kids are in for some trouble over at Paradox Core. Sure hope it all turns out rough for that lightning kid. Sure enough, I hope that they get some nice downtime to themselves that they got Guthrie all wrapped up. Sure hope there's no fallout from the brutality of what uh, happened to all them security officers. Now, we here at Lancer Radio, we do not at all endorse the brutal death on the battlefield of security officers or police forces of any kind. However, uh, we really do sympathize with Lennon and we hope he recovers as best he can. Everybody, you were just the best this week. We're really hoping to see you again next week here at Lancer Radio. Take care.